Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenos días. Aquí tienen el horario para hoy, jueves, el 2 de marzo. You did have homework due for today, core workbook pages 56 and 57. Take a look at that video for how to go about that assignment. Refer to your notes from textbook pages 140 and 142. The assignment you can find right here, a PDF copy. Do for next class, don't worry about submitting bingo, uh, nor should you worry about the song lyric activity. We will complete that together in class next class. You do, however, need to submit your Chapter 2 AB elective assessment. That is due next week. Daily objectives to distinguish the irregular conjugations of the verbs ir, ser, hacer, tener, poder, and estar. These were the notes that we took last class. Uh, we also, on page 142, we also did exercise 19 together, and we identified the context clues used for each of those verbs. Let's go ahead and take a look at your warm-up for today. Two things you have to do for this warm-up. You have to fill in the blank with the correct form of either the verb hacer, poder, tener, and estar, and then respond to each of those questions. So for number one, ¿Qué hiciste, using the verb hacer, ¿Qué hiciste tú el fin de semana pasado? What did you do last weekend? ¿A dónde? So, for number one, say one thing you did over the weekend. Conjugate a verb in the preterite, simple past tense. For number two, ¿A dónde estuviste? The verb is taught in the to form. ¿A dónde estuviste tú anoche a las ocho y media de la noche? Use the verb estar in the yo form to indicate where you were last night at 8.30. Number three, ¿qué ayer que tuviste que hacer tú para ayudar en casa? Using the verb tener in the yo form. And then using this expression, tener, que, and then another verb. Maybe take a look at the vocabulary we looked at at the, at, the at the beginning of the chapter. On page 126, you have things that we do to help around the house. Tuve que cocinar. Tuve que lavar los platos. Yo tuve que lavar la ropa. Yo tuve que sacar la basura. And then finally, number four, anoche pudiste, anoche pudiste ver el partido de los, uh, de basketball de los guerreros. Were you able to watch the game last night? Uh, poder in the yo form would be, sí, yo pude ver el partido, or no. No pude ver el partido. All right, that's your warm-up for today. We're going to review the notes on page 142. Uh, irregular verbs, hacer, tener, estar, and poder, and how those conjugate in the past. We talked about the irregular endings there, highlighted in pink, and also the irregular stems for each of those verbs, highlighted in green. We also talked about the context in which each of these verbs is used, so you can review your notes from last class. And then we talked about how these verbs do not carry any accents uh, at all in the preterite. We're going to watch this video that you can access on the online textbook at home, reviewing the irregular conjugations. And to review uh, the homework together, We'll go over that. You can watch the video for a detailed explanation of that homework. We'll go over the study guide for the final, uh, excuse me, for the midterm, which you can find here. The midterm being held on the 14th and 15th of March. 
about a half hour long, multiple choice questions for reading comprehension and listening comprehension. There you have your key vocabulary terms and concepts. And then a description of what to expect for each section. And again, that's on the 14th and the 15th of March. We will play conjugation bingo. We'll start that together. Basically, for conjugation bingo, you are going to download this bingo card. Put for B I N G O, you're going to put the different subject pronouns that we use, and then we're going to choose five regular A R E R and I R verbs. If you're doing this at home, you can choose any five verbs that you want, but I prefer that you choose at least one AR, one ER, and one IR verb to get a little variety. Since they're regular verbs, we're going to be using the regular endings, which can be found on page 110. We reviewed these at the beginning of the semester. And so using those regular endings, conjugate whichever five uh, verbs of your choosing. So, for example, if we did the verb escribir, filling in uh, the conjugations, pull up a bingo sheet again, uh, yo would go here, right? So this would be yo escribí, anywhere you want in that yo column. Tu escribiste anywhere you want in that two column. El, ella, usted escribió. We we'll go in this column here. Escribimos anywhere in the nosotros common and escribieron. So yo, tú, el, ella, nosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes. And you're going to pick five verbs, any combination of AR, ER, and IR verbs. If you use a Cargars R verb, remember that spelling change that takes place only in the yo form, and the spelling changes are articulated there for car, gar, and czar verbs. And then remember that stem changing verbs uh, in the present tense don't change their stem in the past. So verbs like dormir, poder, escuchar musica, etc. And then for game, oh, and then also remember yo form and el, ella, usted form conjugations are going to carry accents in the yo form. Excuse me, accents on that final vowel for the yo form and the el, ella, usted form. So all conjugations in the yo form, all conjugations in the el, ella, usted form carry accents. For game two, we are going to do the irregular verbs that we've gone over together. And those can be found on page 140. The verb ir and ser. So that's going to be one of your verbs to conjugate. This is for game two, your second game. So fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. And remember, ir and ser share the same conjugations in the past. That'll be one verb. And then the other four are going to be the four that are highlighted on page 142. Hacer, tener, estar, and poder. And I think those are the only two games that we're going to be able to do today. So we won't submit this until... Uh, next class, at the end of next class. For games three and four, if you end up missing, again, just choose any five verbs, uh, you know, pull from the key vocabulary for this chapter, running errands, you know, the particular errands that we, that we run, you can find those on page uh, one. Let's see, there was an activity we did together on page 134 where you guys listed those errands that you would associate with each place, you can pull from there. That might be a good place to pull a combination of verbs. You can look at 
that page from the very beginning, talking about the different chores, things you do to help around the house. You can pull from here some verbs as well to finish off your third and fourth game. If you don't play with us, you still need to fill it out, uh, and you can fill it out with any group of five verbs of your choosing. Again, just prefer to get a combination of AR, ER, and IR verbs. All right, don't forget about your project as well, which is due next class. Uh, and then again, don't, don't need to submit the bingo card and the song lyrics activity for next class. We'll, we'll knock these out together uh, next time we see each other. The song lyric activity I, I know is in the agenda, but we're not going to be able to get to it. Too much going on. <laughs> I just put it there just in case. All right, y'all have a wonderful weekend, muchachos. Chao. Hasta luego.